Hello and welcome everyone to this auction video for this lovely little 09 plate mini little convertible and very nice it is indeed. Now this was owned by a member of staff here at Drive Vauxhall and Weston and uh, yeah they've owned it since I think about something like 2019 and uh, it's been in and out of our workshop over the years and uh, always had its servicing and MOTs done etc done here and it's just failed its MOT on I feel some quite minor points but they've decided they want to put it to auction and get and get rid but um so I've not been able to road test it but I have had this car running a lot of the time and uh, not had any problems with it overheating or anything like that the engine seems sound to me it's quiet it's not whiny or anything like that um, and yeah sounds like a very nice car and quite a simple fix I'll go through the uh, failures with you on the uh, health check that it had just previously but anyway I've taken a load of photos inside and out it's a beautiful car everything works the electric roof works with no problem and uh, yeah this is a bit of a steal for whoever uh, wins it so let's have a look at it it's got lovely leather interior as well uh, cream and black leather the cover off the upper part of the mechanism for the sunroof is off at the moment I've not put it back on it may well fix up no problem but I'm not a mechanic and I'm not going to mess around with it so let me take you for a walk around and we'll see whatever we can see there's not really much damage at all if anything so um, this won't take long so let's have a look around maybe a bit of dirt here a few stone chips on the bonnet um, the front end is nice and clean from the standpoint of any damage this car could definitely benefit from more cleaning um, but I think it will clean up very nice once cleaned properly um, the uh, windscreen is looking good the side of the car is looking good passenger door again looking nice and clean mirror looking good again uh, I think not sure if this is a mark here or some dirt but I think that's probably going to polish off same again down here could just benefit from more cleaning some little bits of tar again I could just do with some cleaning off some black marks off some kind of plastic that's transferred onto it I expect those will polish off as well no damage around this area at all whatsoever another little mark here I expect that will polish off got some kind of hazy brownie marks on there i don't know if they will clean off or not but i expect they're pretty typical for this model the boots looking very clean and tidy as is the bottom of the bumper there we got parking sensors i believe front and rear i'll double check that in a set brake lights are looking good nice and intact no water in them let's check the headlights out headlights could probably benefit from a bit of a polish here but they're not horrendous I expect they would pass the MOT I think that was don't think that was an advisory on its fell coming back to the back here again just a tiny little mark I expect that will polish off again so I'm not really going to mark that down same here again we've just got some black marks I expect some kind of plastic item has been rubbing on there and leaving some black marks uh, taking pictures of all the wheels and prior tire tread decks hopefully my focus will work in a sec so uh, have a look at that. A few chips around the door entry area. Sorry guys for the camera. Uh, your usual kind of wear and tear around the door. The mirror here, no marks again. And uh, hopefully this will work for me in a sec. Sorry. There we go. Okay, so all looking good basically. Um, let's have a look at the, uh, hold on, I'll do this side. So we've got electric mirrors, they work fine. Let's come around to the other side as well. And uh, again, electric mirrors, electric windows, front and back, they all work absolutely fine, as does the power roof. The interior looking all good in here, as I said, could benefit from more of a clean. Loads of history, I'm gonna go through that with you in a sec. A bit of dirt here on the back seat, bit of mud, that could be cleaned off, but the carpets aren't too bad. But yeah just a little bit of a clean i think this car and a little bit of a work and you're on the road and uh yeah some some good healthy profit in this one so let's have a look around uh see what we've got we've got a mileage of uh, 
sorry, 64,574 miles. Uh, not sure what the triangle is about. Um, I did have some warning saying the battery is getting low and I don't know if that's the battery for the key. There is two keys. There's no other warning lights to that handbrake off. No other warning lights on here. And we have uh, just below half a tank of fuel. So that can't be, uh, be shown to that. Um, what else we got? We've got an air con. That does work. No problem. Everything else seems to work as well. I've not checked things like the stop start system or any of these settings here handbrake uh six speed yeah it's a cooper obviously and we've got all the manuals here and the service book as well and lots of paperwork so let's have a look we've got some investigation confirmation thing going on here um so yeah all of that going on there i don't know if that belongs i know it does belong to that car okay so that's that there and we've got let's have a look at the stamps We've got a stamp here in 2009, which is the, uh, let's have a look, pre-delivery check. That's that one done. Then we've got another one here, 2011, 2014, done at Dick Lovett. Another one at Dick Lovett again, 2015, 2015. Now they've written it in twice. That's two different checks, I think. So that's Dick Lovett again. And then a Dick Lovett, so that's a BMW dealership, main dealership, 2016, 2017, 2018, and then 2018, again, the same checks up, actually. And that's the last stamp we have in the service book, at which point I believe uh, the chap that works here bought it. So then going on to what from when he's bought it, we've got an old MOT. I've taken photos of all this lot, so please do check that out. We've got another uh, invoice here for some service and road checks, I believe. I'm not sure of the date on that. 2019. Oh, that's when the expiry. So that's maybe 2018. Not really sure, actually. So let's have a look, see what else we got here. 2019 MOT carried out with health check. And I've got all the photos of that. So you can look at that in more detail if you wish. And another one here in 2020. MOT carried out again with another health check. Photos of all that lot again is on the auction listing and a front brake wire which is done in 2020. And then another service there, uh, annual service carried out in 2021. And then it's recent MOT T and health check. So what it's failed on here are some tires which are well. This is a this is a health check. Sorry, not the MOT um, fail sheet. So I'm not actually sure about that. But we have got as advisories here um, lower suspension arm ball joint slight play uh, near side brake light not working. That might be due to with the. Uh, the, the triangle here and we have got a light bulb there as well actually so I expect that's due because of the brake light not working and we have exhaust flexible section that deteriorating and leaking deteriorated and leaking so that might have been I think it was emissions also it failed on its MOT as I recall so yeah probably a quick easy kind of cheapish fix to get this car up and running again let's uh, have a look on the bonnet get the bonnet up and bonnets up and all looking nice and clean and tidy and presentable and uh, yeah I think it all looks and sounds rather good under here. I'll be quiet and let you have a little look and listen. Okay, there we go. Let's put that back down. Here we go, guys. A rather tidy, sweet. Uh, mini convertible and uh, what I will do is I'll quickly show you this power roof in use because I don't want any dent over that I really forgot about that. That was the reason why I wanted to do this. So let's uh, How can I flip this around? 
Right, hold on a sec, I'm gonna flip this around. So, let me, uh, ooh, actually I can get this. If I get it on a good angle, we can see it in the mirror, can't we? So, there we go. Not the best angle, admittedly, but always working fine. And uh, yeah, the windows come up and the roof's up. As I said, there's a cover there in the back, which probably slots straight on, but I've just not messed around with it, guys. I haven't really got time for it. So I'll put it down as well. You can see all that in, you, in work, in progress. Sorry, and again, windows down. Job done. So there we go. Okay, thanks for watching and happy bidding.